So we've heard that, you know, you've kind of not been in, been a big fan of, of Kanye West in, in the past. And what would you say that you have against him if there is anything? I like Kanye West. Um, I know, what, what was it? In my song, Hop is Back, I just took some, I, was, I just joke around. So I just, I said, yeah, I said some stuff. That was that's fucking hilarious to me. I, I don't. It, I said it because I just like making people laugh, and yeah, it's just what a lot of me and my friends talk about when we talk about rappers and stuff. So it's, I just I just put what I say like amongst my friends. I just put it in the songs. Yeah. So, so it wasn't if we, if we, a personal if, shot. I don't know because I don't know Kanye West. Yeah. There's no there's nothing personal. He he's he's a wise enough man to never give. I don't think he gives the public anything that would actually destroy him or hurt him. So if he, if he comes out wearing something crazy, that's him knowing that people are going to talk about it. And I'm just one of those people that might talk about it. And if I say in a song, that's, that's not a personal jab because I don't, it's not like I'm saying, hey, your mom's birthday is this day and this, that, and, you, yeah. and I know your sister, your dad, this, that, and where you live. I'm like, it's, it's not that. It's, it's just yeah. all things that the public has access to. So yeah, I don't, um, but yeah, Kanye was a dope. Um, I don't. I don't have anything against him. Like I said, I'm. I, I tell everybody this. I'm. I'm just like a jokes. Jokes to rap rock. I. I grew up making jokes, making fun of people. Mm -hmm. People make fun of me as well. That's just how it is. Um, and that's the type of hip hop world I grew up in. Um, when whether it was just messing around, rapping in high school with my homies, just talking about each other's clothes or whatever, or hair. That, yeah. That's just. That's just. That's what the I, culture. Yeah, yeah, that, that's just what it is. It's, ne it's never personal. And I feel like any real hip hop head should respect that. Like, you, you can take it personal as a rapper, like, oh, I'm going to get you back and diss you, whatever. But at the end of the day, outside, outside I mean, unless, it's, unless there's some personal shit to say about somebody's yeah. kid or something, I don't think, I mean, I personally don't see a reason to be like, hey, what the hell you say about me? Say this shit in my face, nigga. <laughs> what you say? You say my rap is weak, nigga? You say you could demolish me, nigga? Polish, right. demolish me? Like, it's, it's just like, come on, it's, just, it's, it's rap. If, yeah. if you don't, if you really dislike it, if it bothers you that much, then send another, send a shot back. But um, that, that's just how, that's just how I am, the, the world that I grew up in, like I said. But it is, it's never personal. I would never take a personal, personal jab unless something crazy personal happened with me and a, another rapper. But yeah, I just, I just have fun. So you don't have any issues with like, you know, just having that, that friendly back and forth if there was like a situation to occur where you took a shot, a friendly shot at somebody, and then they yeah. just was like, okay, well, I'm about to drop this freestyle or drop this, this track, and this is gonna be a response to that. It depends, it depends. Um, I know, I don't, see, I don't, what is, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, it just depends on what they, what they say, how they use my name. I, I definitely would not respond just because they said my name, so I'm not that type of, I'm not that type of artist. I have to actually be insulted. So if I if I heard if they said something like blah blah hopsy weak like a butt cheek I'll be like I'm not responding to that because that just that just that's that's just weak I'm 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 really not impressed didn't do nothing and on top of that nobody else is impressed so I'm not yeah I wouldn't care to but if it was like something where somebody dissed me and it just blew up big and everybody keeps on hitting me up like yo hopsy you gonna let him do that you gonna let him do that you can I'll just be like dude he just he tarnished my name as an MC I, I have <laughs> right. to I have to retaliate yeah yeah so. Just poking fun at rappers, you also did that with Lord Jamar. You called him the Paris Hilton of rap. Do you still feel that way about him? Well, I don't know Lord Jamar. Um, it's funny. This is this is this is gonna be a funny one. <laughs> I don't know anything about the guy. I, all I remember is what was that, on a Macklemore video, and I or no, was it a Mac? I don't know something. I don't remember. I just feel like it was, was it two a year and a half, two years ago mm -hmm. or something. Where I posted some, just saying this guy is retarded or whatever it was. He, he said something about Macklemore or whatever, and I just didn't, I didn't like it, so I tweeted about it. But I didn't, I had, had no idea who the guy was. So, to me, when people like Macklemore come out with songs like that, I know he loves hip hop and all that, but he's trying to push an agenda that him as a white man feels is acceptable. But those proclivities and sensibilities are not at the core of true hip hop. So don't come in my house talking that bullshit. Yeah, then I saw, I saw on Twitter like a, a little bit of 
people like uh, tweets and stuff like of him saying stuff and he was trying to um I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's trying to definitely saying stuff like who is he this who is this guy whatever. But like I said, I'm I don't know the guy. I'm not the I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, he tweeted me back. Oh, he's trying to start this. What did he say to me? Oh, hell no, motherfucker, fuck you and your crew and what you do. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that because yeah. I just said what I said on the comment, and I don't, I don't know the guy. I have nothing to do with his life. He has nothing to do with my life whatsoever. My life exists in with amongst the people that I know, and I don't know this guy or anybody yeah. that knows him. He has nothing to do. So why, sh why am I gonna let that play a part in my life? I don't. I mean, I said what I said. Whatever he said about Macklemore. I didn't like it and I voiced my opinion, but I didn't voice it. I mean, my, my YouTube is linked to Twitter, so I guess it, it did something where it's like, yeah. oh, people saw it, so yeah. But I didn't do it for that intention to try to make a public thing. I just like, yeah, this guy, I was just just a fan watching the Macklemore video or something. And I just saw that and I was like, oh, just, just like anybody else. So yeah, it is what it is. I was just, I was a, I was a human being make, voicing my opinion on YouTube and yeah. I do see, I know that guy's on, he's on here a lot. I, I think I see him all. Yeah, he does yeah. a lot of interviews with Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, I, I, like I said, I don't know the guy. I just didn't like what he said, and I don't know him. So if he feels that insulted, I, it may be, I don't, I don't know why, but he doesn't know me, so there's no reason for him to be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm me, so I'm gonna always you know, give my opinion on things. And you know, I saw Lauren London come out mm -hmm. at the BET Awards, and she was like, she had gained a little weight. So I said, yo, Lauren London left her waist trainer at home. Mm -hmm. Ha ha ha. I was a big lean drinker, like heavy on lean, you feel okay. me? Like, I'll drink a six, or pour a four and a 20 ounce, or drink an eight, a 10, a 12 okay. in one day. That's the type of shit I did. Uh, how how uh, young were you when you first started? Like, when I first started drinking lean, like 15. 15. 